Hey guys, so I forgot to show this on Friday. So the Baylor has been finally fixed after th actually not even three years. It might have been more than that. I've been there for three years. I mentioned it when I got back, but I think it's been actually broken even longer. So it, it finally got fixed regardless. Uh, so regardless, I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. I will crush any opposition. I will rule. Um, so no, um, it finally got fixed and it seems, I mean, it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot more. It's definitely not as powerful as I remember it as it used to be, uh, but it's not leaking. So when I was, you know, tying everything up with the wires, no messy hydraulic fluid covered hands, they were dry. The wires were dry. So, which is good because I don't like having to, you know, Put the wires through and then have to like you know all over because my hands are covered in hydraulic fluid um but the area looked exactly like what it what i thought it would uh because the thing was shut down for like a week so um it was a lot worse when i came in so basically this whole area was filled and this whole area was filled um and see all that crap over there and a lot it it seems like with the boxes a lot worse than what it is but i went over there and there's piles like this big that are just taking up space it's like why not take those piles piles that are like this of uh, the toppers and put them on top of other piles so basically like um like right here you see a uh, pile of toppers right here right the toppers are the ones that the boxes the foldable boxes that go on top of the bigger boxes so this is actually a fairly small pile it looks like it's a mess because whatever they did this was like that when i got down there but there will be piles like this why not take them and put them on top of this one but um but i went down there and this so both of these had carpet in it these two were completely overflowing with uh plastic there was plastic this was moved over and there was i think like there's two boxes right there i think i had about four or five boxes worth of plastic to do i did i did two plastic two carpet and two cardboard so i did six bales for the day i had to go around and collect the carpet i had to go around and collect plastic so in addition to doing six bales, I had to go collect everything. Um, these are piled up like that because I had to put them like that. This is how they're supposed to they're, where they're supposed to be stacked side by side and on you know one on top of the other. But these forklift drivers, they come down and they just put one in front of the other, and then suddenly they're going. Um, I'll show. It. Like they'll they'll eventually go all the way around and then they'll just start piling around. Uh, piling around this way so they'll just pile them one in front of the other all the way up here and then they'll come down this way when it should be like that that was mainly i had to do this because all this all these were filled with carpet so you had the two regular boxes and all this was filled with carpet and i had to get to them somehow so i had to freaking lift them some of them are a lot heavier than they look which is why the forklift drivers should be doing it. But these forklift drivers have the common sense and critical thinking skills of freaking two-year-olds. Um, and then you can see over there a little bit. See, something like that. Like, that's a small pile. That doesn't need to be brought down. Um, but, yeah, they just pile it one in front of the other, and then suddenly you know like eight or nine boxes makes it look like so much more because they're just one in front of the other and they're coming out all the way over here rather than being side by side um there's boxes you know there's lab right there so i couldn't get them all side by side so i just did what i could to get access to the buggies right there um and more crap and Hopefully tomorrow, because uh, today, obviously, Labor Day, 
Uh, so hopefully tomorrow Kevin or someone will be down there because we, we had it looking good. And then it's like, oh, we're shutting it down for a week because it's getting fixed. And now we're right back to what it was before. And I'm, I can't, I can't do it by myself. I can't, I can't freaking do it. So hopefully either Kevin went in on Saturday or, or something, but you know, I managed, I, I, I did what I could with the time that I was there. And again, given the fact that I had to go around and collect stuff, that's not my job. You know, my boss is constantly saying, oh, well, other people have their own jobs and they can't stop doing what they're doing to help you. But she expects me to stop doing what I'm doing to go do someone else's job for them. So had I not had to collect everything, I could have easily gotten this whole area uh, cleared of cardboard. But nope, I had to stop and go around and collect things. So, but, uh, yeah, it's been fixed. Uh, honestly, it just, at this point, they should just get a new baler. This thing's been here since, like, the freaking 50s or 60s. So, I think it's time for a new bail. I mean, you can look at it and just know, it. just the color itself looks like it's from the freaking 60s. But, um, I think just get... You know, because they, they fixed the cylinder, you know, this thing right here, you know, the cylinder that holds onto it and, you know, the thing that actually rushes. But, you know, it's what's stopping the actual engine and everything from giving out. It'd just be so much easier to get a new one. But that would be too much, that would make too much sense. Ooh, look at me. I'm showing all the secrets of where I work. Ooh. This is top secret stuff, guys. Um. See, like, piles like this. It's like, why bring them down? Why bring them down? Just leave them where they are. And if you're gonna bring them down, why not just, oh, I don't know, put more on top of it? Because every time they do that, they, that takes up space. That takes up space from a, a pile that actually needs to be there. You know, it's like with the, the plastic. It's like with the plastic. They, they, they do it, and then they'll start coming around this way. You know, they'll just pile in front of one or the other, and then they'll come down with more, and they'll be like, uh, where do we put it? We don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah, of course you don't have anywhere to put it because you're not piling it on top of each other like this. You're just putting one in front of the other and it's just stretching all the way from there all the way around. If you were to stack them on top of one another, then you'd have room. But... And the only reason the machine got fixed is because I'm the only one who has the balls to say anything. I'm the only one. And of course, when I first mentioned it, my boss was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with the machine. And, you know, thinking I'm lazy and trying to get out of doing my job, despite the fact that I was still doing like seven, eight bales. And then she found out, oh, gee, what do you know? John was telling the truth because they said the cylinder was freaking broken. But nope, John's just trying to get out of doing his work. He's just trying to get out of doing his work. That's why he continues to go to a place where it only makes $2,000 a year. Because he's trying to get out of it. But sure. Keep telling yourself that. But um. Yeah. Hopefully Kevin goes down there. Because uh, it needs to be done. We got all this freaking. All this is just lab. Like this carpet is like that. Uh, the rough uh, coated stuff. So we got all this lab. Plastic. We got it. Crap ton of lab over here. We got Lind right there, which is pretty much almost done, kind of. But my boss is like, oh, why aren't you doing Lind? And it's like, um, because every day I go in, this is all filled up. This is all filled up. You know, it, I described it as like glass or a pool or something. Where, you know, I'm draining that pool out every day. And then at a certain time I leave. But then some asshole keeps coming in and refilling. Not only refilling, but then like overflowing uh, what I've already done. 
So now then I have to go in the next time and not only try to get rid of all that excess, but I have to try to get back down to where I was before and trying to continue. But like, oh, what do you know? I can't do that anymore. You know, for it's like, oh, it's already the end of my day. So I got down to a certain point, but then I leave again, and then some asshole once again comes in and fills it up, and there's spillage coming out. So there's no way I can actually reach the bottom because I'm the only one draining this pool out. I'm the only one doing that. And every time I go back in, it's just completely all there again. So she's like, oh, why don't you do the lint? It's because this, I've got all that crap to do. I've got this crap to do. I'm usually going around now collecting carpet. I do, I'm not like everyone else where they have like eight, nine hours. Kevin, like he has like eight, nine hours. And he can pull a double. I, I'm allowed five hours and that's it. I can only do so much in five hours. And the fact that I'm doing like six, seven bales. Going around collecting crap. and So give me a break. In a hundred something degree weather down there. It's freaking hot. It's freaking hot. But um, yeah, it's finally fixed. For now. Until something else breaks. But because why won't it? Why why wouldn't it? You know, I'm surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if I go in on uh, in uh, Wednesday <clears throat> and try to work it, and the whole thing just freaking falls to the bottom, and you hear clang. You know, and the thing just breaks. And I I really wouldn't be surprised at this point. I mean, I'd be out of a job for a while because you really think they're going to... It took three years just to replace a piece of it. You really think they're going to replace the whole thing right away? Nope. And with the other baler down, nope. Of course, my boss would probably have me come in to do stupid crap like collect. It's like, why? Why would you have... You've already got a person to collect things. You've already got housekeepers. Why would you have me come in to do that? But, yeah, after three years, and for all those people, like that one person, like, oh, you know, I need to complain. Yeah, well, obviously complaining helped because it's finally fixed. Because one of the higher-ups came down to check, like, the, the, you know, the on and off and all that. And I was talking to him about it. And then, what do you know, a week or so later, the thing gets fixed. So, compl complaining I finally got the damn thing fixed after three years. So, ah, you yeah, complain. Yeah, damn fucking right I complain. Because complaining is the only fucking way to get things done. Because if not, nothing is going to happen. Everything will just remain the same. So... If if you have a job and, and, and there's things going on with that, you know, where, you know, working conditions or things aren't working complain about it if you get fired for complaining about it well congratulations that's the easiest un unemployment you've ever made in your life unlawful uh firing because of complaining about you know so if no one brings things up nothing ever changes they're not going to go ahead and change it on their own no one was going to fix that machine on their own everyone else looks like they were completely Fine and complicit with it being broken. Only after someone mentioned it did they send someone down there. Only after me complaining about it did the thing finally get fixed and no longer be it's no longer a safety hazard because it's no longer leaking hydraulic fluid all over the place. So that one person who's like, hey, you're complaining, you can just F off. Okay? All right, champ? All right, sport. You can F off. Clearly, you say you have a job. Never specify what it is, but I seriously doubt it's as hard as this crap. But anyway, finally done. Finally fixed after three years. But hopefully Wednesday I'll go in and stuff will be done. Hopefully Kevin will go down there and done done whatever
I'm just <laughs> tired of it. Just tired of it. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.